this is kind of a nice film fact because in the year 1968, why they did Planet of the Apes, um, the cast, you know, that was the divided. Planet, Planet yeah, the Apes? chimps and gorillas, they split up during lunch break. They kind of separated automatically. Ah. What was it like on Inglorious Bastards? Did the bastards and the Nazis eat at separate lunch tables? Uh, you know, I really, I really don't know. I really don't know what they did. So did, did you guys hang out the whole time with the German crew, and did you go out at night, you know, in Berlin? Did you enjoy? We that would stuff? have, yeah. Usually the Saturday nights were. I only only hit a couple of them because because it required a lot of recovery afterwards. But <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, everyone hang out. It was just a good bunch. Everyone was you know in the same game. What I think is interesting is Italian is being spoken, French, English, and German. You would imagine that as a director, and probably for you as well, it would be kind of difficult to hang out with all these different... What was it like? Was it chaotic, or was it like a really creative atmosphere due to the fact that there were so many different languages spoken? Oh, it, was just, it was good fun. It was respectful. Uh, it was irreverent, and you know, depending on how late it got. Um, and uh, it was just a really good bunch of people. And I'll tell you, 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 you guys are sitting on some great actors here which get to shine in, in, in this film. And uh, that was nice for us to see. Did you get the chance to check anything out beforehand about Daniel or Daniel Brühl and Till Schweiger? Have you met well, each I've other? Well, I've known Till because he's he's been uh, friends with uh, Angie for some time, and so I met Till that way. And uh, uh, but no, no, I didn't know anything. Our August Deal was also fantastic, and uh, there's some really great performances in there. Did you learn any German? Did you get the chance to check anything out? No, not really. Even though you've been to Berlin so many times. Yeah, well, that's what I, you know. I get, you get past the, the, you know, you get the hellos and the goodbyes and a couple of swear words and and uh, and, and beer. <laughs> so and once you got that, you got it all. And you've you've done some amazing characters, or you've played some amazing characters. You just mentioned True Romance, California Snatch. So what happens when you get a script sent to you by Quentin Tarantino? How did he actually convince you, and what did you think when you read it? He didn't have to convince me. It was one of the best scripts I've ever read. And I kind of, you know, you, you do this for a while, you start to get a feeling for things. You just get this radar, and, and this film was on my radar. I, I knew about it, and I knew it was coming. I got a heads up a few weeks before, and I just had a feeling about it. And it, it lands in your lap, and... And I, you know, I tell you, I know. And it's one of those few scripts where there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't anything to change, there wasn't anything to to develop or work on. It was just there. It was one of those gifts that you get few and far between in a, in a in a scope of a career, where you just get to walk on set and and do it, and, and it's sublime. In the movie about, you know, uh, the bastards. Nazi hunters, is that something that has to be done by an outsider, not by a German? Is that the important thing? I don't know. I'm, in fact, I'm really curious to see how the movie lands here. And um, I know the, the, the German actors were having a great time with it. So I, 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 I tend to believe there's some, you know, there's actually there's some fun to be had here. But I don't know where it goes from here. This seems, this has got to be the, the cap, right, in World War II films. Definitely. I think it's made, I think it's good that it's been done. Yeah. Um, you get, because you're like the biggest movie star at the moment, you get thousands of scripts sent to you every day. Are you, uh, what, what has to be in a script to convince you? And are you at the moment currently looking at something that you could do again with Angelina after Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Um, yeah, it, it would be tricky for us to work together, of course, because um, so much baggage comes with it. So we'd have to be really precise and what that would be, but certainly open to the idea. And uh, anything, uh, always looking for, for something a little new and different than what you've done before, I I personally am. And, and uh, um, just looking for a new challenge, a new story, and, and I can't define much more than that. I have a general idea where I want to go next. Um, they seldom line up that way, so but we'll, see, I, we'll see when we get there. In 1996, your movie 12 Monkeys was at the Berlinale, at the Berlin Film Festival. Did you attend? Do you remember that time? No. Uh, okay, you didn't come? Uh, so, uh, have you heard about the Berlin Film Festival, and will you attend in the future? Is that something that you might Sure, I'm to? always open. It's always about scheduling and if your film co goes there and so on and so forth. And last but not least, Brad, when did your kids make you laugh the last time, and what did they do to make you laugh? <laughs> uh, you know... Uh, 
Listen, those are probably stories that are only funny to parents. You know, but. But it's a daily thing. It's the funniest people I've ever met.